What's up YouTube? This is Mika G Crypto. Today we're going to be taking a look at Stellar, specifically XLM slash USDT, and why I think we are currently in a very, very good buying opportunity for XLM USDT. So for today's analysis, I'll be doing a complete analysis. I'll be doing a technical as well as a fundamental and then a sentimental analysis, giving us a complete picture of what XLM is currently doing. Okay. So on the technical aspect, first I'll start off with the monthly, then the daily, then the four hourly, and then I'll go to the hourly in order to find us the best entry. So for XLM, let's start with the monthly. Uh, today is March the 1st, and XLM currently closed extremely bullish for the month of February. Generally, if you see the candlestick over here, generally when you have the candlestick, what it means is that the bulls were in control, it pushed it up, and now the bears kind of took over, and now we are currently in a major support. So generally, the next candlestick would occur is the next candlestick will fill up this area, okay? And if that were to occur, that would be a 50% gain for the month of March, okay? This is just off the candlestick action, talking on the month uh, in, in the monthly basis. Now, we'll go down to the daily basis to try to see exactly what's happening. And on the daily basis, I'll try to mark off some structure, okay? So what I'll do is I'll just fill up this trend line and I'll mark it off, okay? So we have this trend line, it's touched it once, twice, three times and uh, currently we are respecting the trend line also another thing i would like to tell you guys is on the daily basis we have something very nice that i like to trade off and that is a divergence on the rsi and uh sorry i'm drawing that wrong it's over here okay so that's a divergence on the rsi so what does that mean that basically means is this area is higher than this area right but over here, this area is lower on to this area. So there's a difference between the two. On the RSI, this area is showing that this area is showing that it's higher than this area. But on the actual chart, this area is lower than that area. When you see an RSI in a long instant scenario, generally this means that a reversal could happen. So as you've seen, we have retraced this trend line. So at some point in time, this correction is done. And we could see a move to the upside. Okay, this that obviously this isn't a hundred percent of the time that the RSI works, but there is a very good confirmation to show that we are good. We could potentially go to the upside sometime soon. Okay. Also, another thing I like to point out is we are currently also in a horizontal zone, and we have respected it and we have rejected it. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll go to the four hourly to show you exactly what's happening. Yeah. So what I'll do here is. Um, I'm going to draw a trend line. Okay, so this is our trend line currently. Okay, and this is what we're respecting on the way down for Stellar Lumen. Okay, so currently we are uh, attempting to break out of this resistance area. Uh, a very good entry for Stellar, a safe entry. I wouldn't say it's a very good, but I would say the safest entry for Stellar Lumen is essentially a break and a retest, then make for a higher high. Okay. And that will be in conjunction with the area we are right now, essentially. Okay, so if we break out of this area, what would generally happen is we break out, we retest this resistance area, which is in conjunction with these areas. If we show rejection, we will come back down for the support and we will show support in this area. And if that happens, we can definitely make a higher high and that will be to the next major support zone. So this is what Stellar Lumen could potentially do in the next coming days. And this is very, very practical because uh, Bitcoin is showing some stability right now, okay? And also, I'll try to mark out the next major support zones for Stellar Lumen. And right now, Stellar Lumen is currently, I'll mark out the 272 and the 618, and use this for the Fibonacci extension to show where we could potentially head, okay, for Stellar. And from our current price, what I'll do is I'll try to show you exactly how far we can go. So we go 44% to its all-time high. The next take profit zone will be a 60%, which would be the 0 0.67 region. And the next take profit zone after that will be 80% to the next take profit region. And that will be at 0 0.76. Okay, so these are our three targets, 0 0.60, 0 0.67, and 0 0.76. These are our three take profit zones. And again, I'll give off both the scenarios as well, the bullish and the bearish. Uh, and this would be the bullish scenario, which is scenario A. And then this would be the bearish scenario, which is scenario B. Okay. Again, the entry for us would be a break of this trend line because this trend line is currently holding the price down. So what we need is a clear break of this trend line 
to show that a potential new structure will form. And generally, after heavy retracement, what we will see is a bullish momentum after that, and that will be the new structure. So if we break this trend line decisively, we come back up, possibly the 0.47 region, we could potentially have a pullback to the 0.42% region. And if we show rejection over there, we will definitely make our way to this all-time high of 060 so that's where we are with XLM USDT currently on the technical aspect. Now what I'll do is I'll look at the fundamental aspect. And on the fundamental aspect, what I'll do is I look at the news because I like to trade news. OK, so over here, as you see, there's a major event that is characterized as, I believe, hot and significant, hot and trending. And this is for Cardano, as well as EOS, as well as Stellar and YFI. OK, so these are four coins that we have, which means that right now XLM does have a news event that could drive the price up over the next two weeks which is a very good thing because in this market space news sells okay people tend to buy into the hype of these coins and i'm sure and xlm is worth billions of dollars which means that they have a ton of money for marketing and to market this news event which means a lot of new investors will be buying in xlm cardano and these other coins over the month of march until this news event occurs so do keep that in mind uh, this is a very good uh, prospect for increase in price because of the news. Okay, now we look at the sentimental analysis, which basically states what the large investors are doing on Binance. Then you can find this on Binance futures slash trading history. If you just Google it. So as you see on the four hour for XLM, uh, there are more longs than shorts. 80% of people are currently longing uh, XLM, rather 19% are shorting it. Okay. Uh, this is the four hour chart. We can also look at the other charts over here. This is a more short to long. It's the top trader position. But over here, it's a more long to short again, which is a 79% long to 20% short, which is a 3.78 long to short ratio, which is very good in my opinion. So this is where we're currently at for XLM. Uh, in my opinion, XLM can definitely make a move to the upside. Um, it's extremely doable, specifically also because the fact that Bitcoin has now stabilized and the correction could possibly be over at this point in time. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. This was a complete analysis of XLM. I ran through the technical aspect, the fundamental aspect, and the sentimental aspect, giving you guys a clear picture of what could happen in the coming days for Stellar Lumen. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that and have a good day.